Hello everyone, welcome to the GSA Lockout Bingo Tournament. It's good to be back. I'm Bedronis and commentating the first qualifier round. And this is going to be determining who's actually going to be in the main competition. We have Wecker, Jake Word, and Joy Bag of Donuts here. And two of them will make it through and one of them will not. So this format is going to be Lockout Bingo, which means runners will pursue the goals listed on the cards in the middle of the screen here. However, when they get one, it's locked away from the other runner, so only one person can accomplish each goal, which means you might have races for particular squares, which, you know, you can play it pretty strategically. And once someone gets it, you know, that's out of play for the others. So we're going to have three rounds of up to 30 minutes. And after each round, the squares will be tallied. And the, in addition, the winner will get three points, the second place will get two points, and the loser will get one point, I believe. So I'm here with... Um, I guess I'm not a cola. How are you doing? Oh, never mind. Guess they're not here right now. It's me, Mario. Hello. So yeah, how's everyone doing today? Sorry, I thought I still had time. Oh, you're good. We're just about to get going. Alright, cool. Dwarf has given the countdown. And in just a sec, we should see the runners reset and we'll be off. So now that they've reset, we can look at the card. So let's check this out here. We've got in the center, 100 Quinn Star and HMC. And then I would say after that, you want to look at the corners. One star from each stage, 140 in two stages, 25 lives in all stars and wombs. And to be honest, all of these are fairly good um, squares, which means that you can have a lot of... Um, oh, actually, no, I shouldn't even talk about it. We're doing lockout. It doesn't matter about the rows. Right. But in general, like stuff like uh, 15 lives, 25 lives can go really fast. You're looking for stuff that's one individual star as something that you can try to rush once you get to a certain area like one strategy could be rushing upstairs which means you do as close to a 16 star beginning as possible to get stuff that's in like wet dry world ttm thi etc and i do want to clarify for those at home uh the lose mario's hat um if you lose the hat you have to remain without the hat for the remainder of the the race, or at least uh, that 30 minute section. All three runners getting Lakitu skit, that's a good start. Initially looking at this card, I think uh, obviously six stars in DDD. We're gonna see some skips. Um, I don't think anyone's gonna get 35 stars in enough time. Uh, to me, 15 and 25 lives are the two that look really achievable. Yeah, I would say when you have 30 minutes, it puts a little bit of a different um, constraint on bingo that we're used to seeing. So stuff like 35 stars is absolutely not guaranteed. Even if it was lockout, you could go until all the squares have been filled up, in which case someone's going to get there, so it's really not a bad square. In this case, you probably don't even want to think about it. So you're looking at what you can do in half an hour, which means you can probably get, you know, maybe like 20 stars in, you know, your lobby and downstairs, you know, have fire C go upstairs, maybe get about 10 more. Now this is really interesting though. Um, Joey is going for King bob -omb, so I assume that means he is going for the uh, defeat all four mini-bosses. Yeah, could be. Otherwise... Okay, he could do star number one from each stage, but that's actually a really bad goal to go for. Yeah, that's that gonna number one no. is really long. And especially that that would require um, the 50 star BLJ into TTC and um, Rainbow Ride. Bingo, people will get up there eventually. If like if you need to get a goal up there, you'll get there around like you know 15 to 20 minutes, but. In a case like this, where you're giving yourself a lot of prerequisites to even filling in one square, it's probably not a good idea 
And even though you have at least one star from each stage, so you technically you could double up, so we'll probably get that one first if I had to guess. And now we have um, Jake Word getting 140 coins and Walms, I believe. But he, but he missed a red coin, so he has to go back for it. Yeah. It's a bit awkward here. So he's going to be getting every coin pretty much in the stage. You can only miss one. There's 141 coins and Walms, and if you get 140, you pretty much need to collect everything that there is. And he hasn't even touched the uh, swamps yet. This is kind of interesting. Joey's uh -oh. also doing one for Oh no, he's just taking a death. Oh no. Oh, that's bad, because you've already made a lot of progress and you're going to have to start over, so really not a good start for Jake Word. Oh, and no. the awful. is just kind of doing a typical Womps, which means he might be going for the All-Stars and Womps school that you see there in the bottom right. Yeah, even if you bail out on that, on if you don't think you're going to be able to get 120 stars quickly, you can still get the you can you can still get the 120 coin star, and like that is absolutely devastating that he took that hit. He has lost quite a bit of time. Yeah. It's interesting for Bingo where you'll see a lot of movements that okay, Joey's internet is not really. Cooperating yeah. here, but you can see he's killed the prana and dropped the blue coin, but the prana respawned, which meant that he had to be very careful to not get hit, and I think he did get hit there. But we'll just have to infer what's happening here from, from the Liam bit, right? You know, otherwise I think, you know, the the other two are just kinda going about their own thing. Now Wecker if he's actually going for like 140 as well, that would be really interesting, because obviously you know, okay, Joey's marked the 120 coins in one stage, so he's going to get that. Yeah, we're, that might be that something. If other runners are looking, they might just bail out or try to get to the their next square. Unless they really want to get 140 in two stages, but Joey's got a pretty good lead there. So he's getting 140. We might want to work on that because it just occurred to me that that board is going to be live and these streams are going to be 10, 15 seconds behind as, oh no. Weck just took a death. Okay, this is really not a good Womps. You can imagine there's definitely some race nerves coming into a tournament match where your life is immediately on the line. But with that said, still really not looking good for either of them. But, you know, I think it's good that we have, first of all, a time limit for each match. Oh my god, Weckert is taking another death and Jake Ward is having a meltdown. So look, if it's race number one, you can... Sorta of disregard it if you do well in the other two. Now, we do count the squares individually, so you definitely don't want to get too out of control. But at least it's not do or die in this one race. And, you know, second of all, the 30 minute timer means that even if Joey could really, like, run up the score, he won't be able to do it for that long. So, there's at least um, a kind of limitation to how much you can snowball if the other runners are doing poorly. Jake Word realizing that he was not going to be able to get the 120 coins in one stage square and instead bailed out. And I don't know if he realizes that Joey is hot on his tail for stars and womps. I, Especially after I he took that one. I not one for it anymore, but it's really kind of concerning for me to see him go for Aquarium because I think the only thing that you get from it is like seven Castle Secret stars, which is like. Aquarium is not a particularly fast one anyway, so it's it's really a pretty big time sink, especially in the beginning, where if you want to play this strategically, you want to try to keep in mind that other players are also going for squares, and then, you know, you kind of want to see if you can beat them to a punch on some of them, or just kind of get, get yourself in a good position to secure yours before anyone can scoop you. So, by doing Aquarium, you're kind of giving yourself um, a handicap, I guess. On the other hand, though, you have um, the aquarium, and obviously we see him going into Princess Secret Slide, so that's what he's doing. Two there, Wing Cap is fast, and then Bowser in the Dark World Reds. You're going to have to go to Bowser in the Dark World anyway, so that only loses about 20 seconds. And in the basement, as we can see Joey having a world of trouble getting up on this tower, uh, in the basement... Um, you have the Mips, Star, and Toad, which don't require entering the level. And that's seven. Yep. Yeah. 
So you'll get your seven for sure. But I still kind of question the choice to, to go for Aquarium. But it can work for sure. Also, Joey's going for lives. I don't know if you were able to notice, but he collected some one-ups and walks. So he's looking okay. to get me those 15 and 25 life, life cards. And really, um, Jake Bird and Weckert are not going for them. And they've both been, been dying a bit as well. So that kind of is counterproductive. Not just for your time loss if you're also going for that card. So it looks like Joey is pretty pretty securely in the lead to start this one off. Yeah, Jake Word uh, is going to get the uh, all, all, excuse me, all Stars and Wumps. It looks like Joey's not going to be going for the uh, cannon list. He's going to open the cannon. And we're not going to see Owlis either. As we're already spoiled that yep. Jake Word gets the uh, All Stars and Wumps, we might need to do something about that for uh, future rounds, see if we can get that on like a 15, 20 second delay, or maybe we just mark it internally. Oh well, I think as long as it's not too far in advance, like if they're on the last star, I think that's okay. But yeah, we could, we could see about trying to sync that up better. Well, meanwhile, Joey is on JRB. Now, this is... I, I think we have something in JRB, do we not? Let's no. Take a look. Oh, yes. All-Stars in JRB. That's going to be really long. Yeah. He Surely. might be going for star number one from each stage here, if I had to guess, by going for this star. I don't know Which... if that's going to be doable in 30 minutes. Here's the thing, if you, if you really want to, you, you will for sure be able to get it, but also you're really cutting yourself off from a lot of other things you can do in that amount of time. So and he's I also quite really a bit... A great choice. And he's already quite a bit behind the eight ball on that because we're already 10 minutes into this race. It'd be one thing, and we can see uh, Jake, we're just taking a death there on Dark World. It's, it's one thing to, you know, go for that if you still have the time. Yeah, those 10 minutes went fast. I'm like, oh my god, we're already halfway through when you meant, or one third of the way through when you mentioned it. Another death by Jake Word. Mamma mia. I will say, Joey's not really getting a whole lot of competition this run, but, you know, his own routing is pretty much his, his own limitation. Alright, looks like he's gonna actually open the cannon. Which is interesting. I don't know if this is part of his All Stars and DRB or if there's another thing for. for yeah, cannon. there's open all 11 cannons. That is way too. You don't want to be doing that one at all. Or he's uh, gonna get. Um... Well, yeah, because he opened the cannon in Lump's Fortress and then he blast away the Wild Blue. Now, I don't know if. Or, or blast away the wall, excuse me. I mixed uh, two stars. Mm -hmm. um, he, he didn't get blast away the wall, so I'm assuming, although now he's going for this, so maybe he is going for All-Stars and Derby, and just couldn't. Yeah, I would, I think Joey's done a little bit of 120, but not that much, so I can see the judge team giving him some, some trouble here. You kind of want to swim a bit above the star and, like, come down into it. Looks like he'll get it this time. Oh, no, he just faltered at the end. Alright, is he going to bail out and go for, like, the chests? Seems like it. Yep. And obviously you'll have to go to the basement to get Metal Cap, and that's going to be a huge time loss, so he's got to get that eventually if he wants to get All-Stars in JRB. Oh my god. Don't die here. Okay. Looks like Joey will survive. Jake, we're finally going to get Bowser uh, with one more hit. There you go. And uh, Weck making, or Weckert making some good progress on the Secret Stars. Taking the slow route through wing cap. And still missing a pair. Gonna have to go back around. Okay. Uh-oh. Alright, you can do this back up here that Leckard is looking at. I guess that'll just to be enough to get him the star. But I don't really know what his plan is going forward, if he's going for secret stars, or if he's 
only trying to do wing cap. I don't think there's anything. Oh, two cap stage stars. I take that back. So you'll probably try to get metal cap soon enough, or vanish. Either one. Yeah, I, I think Vanish is too far out of the way. I think you're going to have to go over the wall in Hazy Maze Cave while you're collecting the Toad there. Although, he is... What? He tried to go into Big Boo's Haunt, but he only had 11 stars. Yeah, but he's got to get one more before he can yeah, do that. That's correct. The Boo only spawns at 12 stars, and that is a lack of game knowledge. As we see Joey going for... Blue Coins? Um, I have no idea what he's doing here. What? And he's what? just... Fallen. Alright, I think... <laughs> it's a good uh, thing you, you, after 30 minutes. This might have to be a mercy kill. Oh, this... Okay, Jake, we're barely survived this... Okay, he's gonna come over to the big bullies. If he's doing all stars and the lob lane, he can get that in a pretty reasonable amount of time. But if you're gonna take some deaths here, it can it can really run the clock. Well, Bully is not interested in him at all. Kind of interesting. And Joey just fell off the slide again. I'm not really sure what he's going for. I guess there's always oh, farming lives. No, he's not. Wait, no. There's a couple lives on the slide, but it, this is a really inefficient way to do it. You'll get 15, um, pretty much, no matter what you do. Maybe that explains why he was going for blue coins? To try to get, like, 50 bonus? Yeah, I could see that. Now he's backwards. Yeah, and he he's just really missed trying it. to get that one up. Now, is this even going to give him 50? Mm, I have no idea. Nope, and he's I also not going to get 21 really seconds. Time. All right. Oh, that's a one-up. I actually didn't know that was a thing. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, at least I can see the idea here, but just not really going so well for, for any of the runners, of course, but Joey's actually the has the least amount of stars right now, where Drakeward is in Lethal Lob Lane, which means he actually gets kind of a... Um, he kind of gets to his pick of the bunch here when it comes to cards that are only doable out outside of lobby. You've got stuff like two cap stage stars, seven castle secret stars, two Mario's hat, six stars in SSL. You know, I could go on, but yes, he actually has a pretty big advantage here. Well, Mips has not yet spawned. Mm -hmm. this 15. Is if Weckert thinks he's going to get all stars beneath the lob land, he's going to be in for a surprise oh. when Jake presumably gets it in a minute or two. Oh, but he's out. Getting the secret? Okay. Huh. I'm really not sure about this routing. And unless he doesn't mean to go back to basement, he just wants to go grab Mips. But it's pretty weird to think of. Maybe he just saw, like, uh, looking at the card that no one had gotten two cap stage stars in, and he's gonna try to snipe Metal Cap. Joey is apparently doing no reds, so he's not gonna be going for secret stars. Uh, very scary movement here. I think there's a one up there that he just passed on. Am I wrong? I think so. There's, like, two one ups on. On that kind of. Does he just not know that they're there, bridge? or? I don't know. Or maybe he's not going for 15 lives after all. But then why would he keep doing slide and he just missed a Bowser? It's pretty hard for me to say. I think they're just gonna have to do what they're gonna do, and we're gonna have to try to figure it out as best as we can. But right now, it's like I don't even know what people are targeting. They're kind of jumping around the course here, and. I, I don't really know any of these guys very well, so it's safe to say they're pretty inexperienced. So I won't hold it too much against them, but in terms of, like, um, trying to see how they'll be able to do in the rest of the competition, I think, like, 
they're going to have to be a lot more decisive in future races if they do qualify to the main event. Well, in any event, this will be good experience because this format is relatively new, and if they're facing some people that maybe haven't done this format, then they could have a little bit of an advantage having already done it. So you know a little bit more of what to expect. Yeah, if Joey's still going for cannons, he's already at 18 minutes. I don't think you can get all the other cannons in that amount of time. No, there's, there's kind of one. Alright. So what happens in the event of a tie? I don't think that was uh, written out well, in the rules. Because I know we award three points to first, two points to second, and one point to third. Oh, and Jake just took a really late death there in Vanish Cat. That's brutal. I have to check the rules. I believe he did add a provision for tiebreakers. But I would have to check. Okay, I'm... I'm checking the document. Actually, maybe I'll just ask the dwarf if he can respond in the chat. If you oh tie first, gosh, Joey's, you get Joey's going for cannons. There's no way he's going to get this. He still has to get to Rainbow Ride in 10 minutes. And Jake just took another death on Vanish Cap. Yeah, like, he's got to get 15 stars, then make it to... He's got to do Fire C, and then after that he can BLJ, but... So we're gonna take yeah. a lot of time, and opening cannons has a pretty lengthy cutscene anyway. It's like you're like he could get it if that's all he does for the for the next ten minutes, but I don't even know if that's likely. I'm not sure even Kano could get that in ten minutes. Still got seven more cannons, and meanwhile, Weckert having a world of difficulty on bully the bullies. Joey's trying to go up the slope here into the Vanish Cap, which would give him two Cap Stars. I'm surprised no one's really recognized the star the goals that can be done really easily. So I I know Brennan shouldn't be listening in, but if anyone is doing bingo and they want like a bit of a tip, look for the stuff that is like the most immediate. Okay, Jake Ward has actually cleared the Cap Stars now because he's just finished the Vanish Cap. As Joey's about to enter, so like he's gonna be doing all that for nothing, might just exit course if he sees that on the card. But two cap stage stars, stuff like lose Mario's hat, 100 coin star in BOB, red coin star in red dry world. Look at those and see what those combine with, because those can be done really quickly. And if you can bring them in as part of larger goals, as in like. You have, uh, I guess maybe not that many of these go together, but it's like you have 100 coin star in BOB and like collect 120 coins in one stage. Like you could get 120 coins in BOB and like knock two off right up right right away. So it's like looking for stuff like that can really give you an early lead. But unfortunately, it's taken quite a long time for these guys to to fill in any squares at all. So I imagine races two and three will have a bit higher scores. That certainly helps. So. Yeah. Wackert is, I guess, going to have to resort for all stars in LLL. Because there's, uh, other than working on, um... The Secret Stars, which I don't know how his progress is on that. I think he still needs a couple. He, he could actually get out of here and get those real quick. Which I think Are is his best play, because I don't... Uh, Weckert needs, uh, seven Secret Stars. He has okay. five. 
And he can't take the elevator warp because he doesn't have enough health. Now he can. Um. And misses. Is he dying on purpose? No. Looks like he might go the volcano the old fashioned way. Well, he oh, needs a uh, hundred. Always lost the hat. About time someone did that. Oh! All right, Joey, nodding it up at two. Now, an interesting thing about this is that if it's like a single bingo, you want to do this pretty late because you lose like a couple seconds every time you collect a star due to the like shrug animation when he doesn't have a hat. And also you take double damage, which could make some stars a lot harder to get. Always getting this topless backup though, which is kind of interesting. I'm not sure why he's going for it. And, oh, six stars in SSL. There's really no other reason to do it. And mini bosses. Okay, we can do both of those. I take it back. Uh, the other it's mini boss would be place. Wiggler. He'd have to get up to the top. Yeah. Um, he can get up there in enough time. I mean, he can get up game. there, but he's definitely not getting his cannons. He can get Wiggler, though. Oh, my goodness. Somebody just pointed out. Oh, there's five. But somebody just pointed out that Weck is out of coins. I think if he goes up the elevator, oh there are God. some. I don't that's think his so. only option. And he didn't get the jump. Oh no, this is this is a nightmare. And he just died on 99 coins. This is not a good start, fellas. Okay. That'll be at least an elevator tour for Jake Word. Now, Weckard is doing Hunter Quinn again. So. I'm not sure what his route is. Inside of four minutes now. I mean, Joy might be the only one to even get upstairs. Well, Jake Word is going for it, but... I don't know, I, I feel like there's gotta be something that you can get. Like, Red Coin Star and Blade Jar Emeralds fast? Yeah, it's but not a whole lot. They, they have to get Dire Dire Docks and Fire Sea. Yeah, and cool. then get to Dry World, and they have three and a half minutes. Yeah, you could do like one star. No, I actually have a question. If you're at 30 minutes, do you get to finish the star you're on, or is it a hard cutoff? I would assume it's a hard cutoff. Okay. Well. So these guys are essentially running fool's errands at this point. Weckert. Buddy, get get something. Put up a put up a task. So you need seventy nine coins when you go into the volcano. You can kill this eyeball to get to seventy seven, and then he just needs to find a couple more. Jake, we're realizing that he needs to bail out, so he's going to try to get 100 coins in Bob. Oh, he's in... dead. Uh, no. Yeah. 
Yeah, so we're going for a miracle is Jake. We're trying to get 100 coins. He only has two minutes and he's just getting started. I don't think it's going to happen. Probably not. I don't... I don't recognize him as someone who's done 120, so... I don't really see it happening in a minute 45 from now. You also want to have the Koopa spawned on star 3 to really do this quickly. So, you might get up to like 60, 70, but that's about it. And Joey just died. Yeah, okay, no one's even actually gone upstairs, so... Kind of an underwhelming bingo. Joey didn't even get his 15 lives, according to EBM. That's a good thing to point out. That's at least... Yep something he could do really easily. Like, if he went to... Like, he was already in Vanish Cap. Like, it's really easy to farm lives in Vanish Cap. He could have gotten his 15 and 25. Oh, Weck is on the board. He's on the board. He just got... Or, wait a minute. He's not yet on the board. He will get on the board as soon as he collects MIPS here. Um... Maybe? Is he on the... What do you get? Two slides, wing cap, aquarium, toad, mips. Did he get wing cap? Oh, I already said that. Yeah! I thought I got wing cap. He was the one who needed to do the backup. Oh. Yeah. What is he missing? He must not have done Dark World Reds. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, 20 seconds! Is there anything going to happen in 20 seconds? No. I don't think so. Alright. And time is up. So, the thing that I saw was that, um... Jake Word got all stars in LOL right at the death. Uh, so he picks up the third point to take this race. He will be on six. Joey, two for second and two tasks, will go to four points. Weckert, unfortunately, not able to get any squares. He will get one point for third. And um, Madronus, unfortunately, I do have to leave you here as I have other commitments. Uh, but. I hope the uh, rest of this race goes well. I sure hope so too. Thanks for commentating. See you hey, around. You got it. Yep. All right. Time to give these runners uh, a bit of a wake up slap, I hope. Then we're going to have a couple more rounds for hopeful redemption. I would like to see everyone get a few on the board. And, you know, if nothing else, the first race can, you know, you can easily overcome, like, a five-point deficit, you know. So, yeah, let's, let's get into it. Alright, I'm gonna get out of my bed and hop in the comm booth. I've been wallowing in my sadness for long enough. How's it going, Badronis? Going alright. I must say that was an interesting match to watch. Um, honestly, uh, I'm not a bingo expert, and I was over here thinking that BLJs were banned, and I was like, how are they, like, they couldn't even possibly get upstairs, like, this is rigged, and then I realized they can do BLJs, uh, and yeah. then I got confused. It's LBLJ and SBLJ, so it's pretty much like, you're not really skipping anything until MIPS clip. But then from then on, you're, you're good. I guess Wecker did get his seven castle, se castle secret stars, so maybe you could um, update that if... Okay, you did. So what, uh, Joey got four points, but Jake Ward got six, and Wecker got two. Yeah, I think the points should be accurate unless I messed something up. Totally forgot to even add commentators to the layout to tell my <laughs> board to, but we're getting there. Hope everybody has been enjoying the format so far. I'm definitely interested to see, especially as we get deeper into the tournament, uh, what we can get going here, because we're going to have four players in the future matches. It's going to be a bit more of a slugfest. The 
we're getting all the players ready here, and we'll be getting into match number two shortly. in my mind if the emulator pops, but I think literally everybody is on emulators, so I think we're just doomed. Oh, really? I thought Joey could have been on N64, but it's probably just the bitrate. <laughs> yeah, quite possibly. Mario. See if everybody's synced up here. It looks like we're most synced. Uh-oh. 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 Uh -oh. I think that the clock is going anyway, you're just going to have to delete and start or just yeah get a new save file going oh, i think we're gonna just take the l here keep going kind of unfortunate but I'll reveal the card by the way sarah oh yeah no nah, you, you don't get to see that we're gonna go blind all right so there's a lot here that i think these runners could easily do we've got some really short stuff like Peach's Slide times two. We have single stars like Mario Wings Sky BOB. Another red coin star in Wedge Gyro, 100 coin star in Wedge Gyro, which you could do together. You have some some nice things like four from BOB and CCM, three from PHI and TTM. Five Castle Secret Stars, 10 Castle Secret Stars. A lot of a lot of good synergy, honestly. You could have some Wedge Gyro World stuff, you could do some Castle Secrets, I think a lot of these work well upstairs. So there's a lot of different ways you can go about this. I think it's definitely a better card than the last one. The last one really didn't have much synergy at all. You just kind of had to brute force certain tasks. And um, it didn't really work out so well for anyone. It's not completely the card, but I can't say the card helped. So I, w I, would, I would at least be cautiously optimistic for some more tiles filled in this time around. And we've got three bomb clips. The record is a bit behind because he was unable, or he forgot to clear his save file. So, he's just gonna be getting in there. But, okay, Joey rushing slides. I think this is a good idea. He has a clear vision of what he's doing. But Jakebird's doing it too, so we actually have a bit of a race on our hands. We're both going for the same goal. And whoever does it first is gonna get, get the square. So Joey's a few seconds ahead. And we're gonna have to see if he makes any mistakes or if Jake Word is gonna catch him up, catch up to him. Yeah, it could be a lot of time loss here for a Jake Word if uh, you know this indeed goes well for Joey, because Joey's gonna be finishing, you know, just seconds before Jake Word, and that's just time out the window. Time that you'd be spending, you know, collecting some stars, bombs, getting into CCM, BOB, getting some more stars or, you know, making his way upstairs, potentially. But I, I have to agree, like I said before, not a huge bingo expert or anything, but I was trying to look at anything that could be really done together or, you know, kind of blocked together in the last card, and there was very little. Like, a lot of really individual stages that don't really, you know, stand out. Yeah. Hopefully we don't see Joey going, going on a cannon adventure, though. I think that's definitely oh a square that... Joey missed the turnaround. I think Jake Word's gonna snipe this one. Oh my gosh! Oh, it's over. wait, wait. I mean, it's all gonna come down to the box break. If the box break wait. is four. Oh, he got the 22 seconds, though. Oh, he didn't get the oh my amazing. god. Oh no, my he lord, who's gonna get it? Who's gonna get it? This I is mean, the most exciting thing all day. Who's Joey, gonna mark it? Joey marked it first. Who's marking it? Joey marked it. I think if we assume that they're perfectly synced, he did get it like an instant before. Yeah, they're, like all, pr instant they're before. all pretty well synced. Uh, we can, of course, go back oh in the god. VOD. Times are close and check those nail biter moments, but it seems to well, me like Joey grabbed that saw one. That. Everyone saw that, and you know, it's gonna be pretty much um, coming up empty for both Jake Bird and Record. So we're gonna have to see what they do now. I appreciate that Record's trying to go to Jerry B here. This kind of gives them some options that the rest of the runners might not be picking up on. So it's gonna be another competition between Joey and. Jake Word and Womps. 
Yeah, I mean, that's a heartbreaker for all, all the Jake Ward fans in the chat room. It really felt like there was going to be an epic Peach's slide comeback, but unfortunately not the case. Are yeah, they going for the same goal here again? But he's actually missed... Did he miss two coins? I don't know, I saw a coin fly over the edge on Jake Ward's screen, but if that was two, then he actually can't get 140. We'll have to see what happens here. But it looks like Joey's well ahead of him in that aspect. Well, he's kind of screwing up the Womps, but... He's farther along. Okay. Alright, one thing at a time here. Gonna be grabbing that aquarium star. Knocking up okay. a secret star. Um, Joey's gonna have to go around again. He's not even gonna do any half cycle movement, just gonna eat the time loss. This could let Jake Ward get back into this one, but it's hard to say. He's like 10 coins down, and I don't know where the other ones came from. Hmm. Well. I'm just really hoping that Jake Ward doesn't only come, you know, behind Joey, but with not enough coins in the Swamp Fortress, that would be absolutely devastating. Yeah. It looks like it looks like that but it looks like that's what's gonna happen. Though. You could just take the star and move on. Oh my god, Joey, don't fall. <laughs> that would be that is, would be something. Is Jake Ward not gonna collect the star here? Okay. I guess he came back around for it. It's actually a little bit... Like, if you knew you were racing against someone, it might actually be faster not to get the 100 coin oh, star and true. just get, like, reds after you got 140. Yeah, that is pretty galaxy but brain. I think that assumes a bit more optimization than we're currently seeing, to put it politely. I mean, every little bit counts. Every little bit counts. Yeah. And that's a good 140s. So, Joey, off to a pretty flying start here. Unfortunate for Jake Ward, he's gonna get pretty much both his goals stolen, but now he actually saw the card and just kind of cut his losses, so at least he's not too caught up in that, but it really sucks that he got beaten just barely on both those goals. Usually in bingos like this, when it's lockout, you know, you're gonna have to kind of expect people to go for stuff in Womps or like early lobby things. Which is why alternate strategies are like rush basement, rush upstairs. Things like that. Yeah, definitely. Lots of stuff going on upstairs in this card, for sure. Um, one thing I want to ask is, as a bingo expert, uh, what would you suggest doing for farming lives in bingo? What's what's the best strategies here? Is there different ones say, depending on the cards, um, or like one that beats them all? If you're getting things with a lot of 100 coin stars, like let's say you're getting 100 coin star in Red Dry World, then you'll get like two lives for each of those. But since those kind of take a while, I would try to get as many as you can in like B.O.B. and like Dark World and stuff. Like wherever you have other things you can do in the meantime, like don't just go for lives. But then as soon as you get like down to basement, just go farm and vanish cap until you get like, I don't know, 15 or so. Oh, if so that's you all grab, you need. If it's 25, you can get those through like Lethal Love Lane and basement and Fire Sea. I don't know all the live locations, but you can get 25 pretty easily by the time you get upstairs. What I would maybe consider doing is actually getting Vanish Cap, farming lives, using that for a Castle Secret Star, Castle Secret Star, and then using that to get all stars in Wet Gyro when you go upstairs. That might be good also. Um, get a lot of like 100 coin stars to boost the life count like which I rolled with the lava land. So there's a lot going on for sure. You you have you have options on this card, I think. So he's chasing that one life and it's actually going to run away from him. Oh my god, I think he missed it. Well, good try. What 
what do you think the strategy is on the side of Weckert and Bakeward? You don't see any boxes selected. We see both players in Dark World. I'm guessing they're trying to get upstairs as fast as possible. He just got really quiet for me. I'm not sure why. I sound quiet? Yeah. What? Why no, that's my headphones. Hold on. <laughs> I was going to say, I'm looking at they my phone. They kind of got... They don't get... If they're not in the jack properly, they get like distorted and it kind of oh. loses a bit of like the audio profile, which if it's voice, it's, it's, it's like most of it. Um, when you say, um, to answer um, the Lightbender's question, EBM's using it as like row one, box five. I would say like, I would either just call out the goal, like five castle secret stars, or it's not too long to say row two, column five, or column five, row five. But usually row before column is the standard. So it's important to note that some stars require like certain prerequisites, like if it's a star that you need to be on star 3 to get, then that means you have to get star 1 and 2 from that stage, which can use some extra time, like for instance, rematch with the Koopa the Quick and THI. And then oh. if you have stuff like Into the Igloo and SL, you need the Vanish Cap. Nice one up there for Joey if he can collect it. Yeah, really nice dab from Wecker too, that was very, very powerful. Wow. But yeah, if you're going for Vanish Cap, then I would, yeah, go Into the Igloo Snowman Slam. For sure. But when judging that stuff like Vanish Cap, which is kind of like a... Um... Wow, not looking good here for Weckard and Wing Cap. But like when I'm saying about Vanish Cap, where it's like you're using a lot of time to get something that might not be that beneficial, you really want to look at other... other... When he's gonna take a, a Ground Pound Death just to reset the stage but yeah pretty much like you want to make sure that you're not doing something out of the way for no reason you wanted to have some synergy with other spirits that you're doing so he's farming some lives here he's about to get up to 13 which is not too bad oh my god oh. is it stuck in the wall oh, I think I it didn't is. get it oh no that's heartbreaking the rage pause is coming out So what what's the what's the logic between getting the cannon? There's no JRB stars I almost I'm missing it. Are we going for all cannons again? I'm not sure if that's a great idea. I don't think that's a good idea. Hey, Wackard actually marking goal this time. He's gonna get five castle secret stars and be the first one to do it. So good for him. Massive. I would have to like Jake Ward's doing 100 coin on Lethal Lava Land, which takes a long time without the shell. That's a good one to mention, like, if you're only doing 100 coin, you're gonna take a long time to do it. Yeah, I mean, probably could have gotten the other stars. There's a lot of fast stars here in Lava Land, and also grab the 100 coin on top of that. Get himself up to 16 stars, or 15 rather. But sky jump. Oh, go ahead. Yeah, I mean Wecker's kind of stacking up the points right now. I had two two at this point. Oh, that's the wrong star. He needs to do the one with the cannon. Oh, true. Can you DM him, Dwarf, or maybe I can? Perhaps playing Japanese. I'm not sure. I think. There's one on play. I think there's only one player in English. Let's see what a text box pops up. Alright, I really don't want to see Jake Ward die on 100 coin here after this yeah, grueling journey. <laughs> okay. I mean, he only needs two more coins to get into the volcano, and he'll have plenty. So he's learned from last time, he's got more than enough. Oh, okay. What's he doing? Okay. Burning this booty for fun, um, apparently. 
sounds kind of fun. It's like we got through to Wecker that we indeed need to get the wing cap star, but he's not going for the correct star. I wish there was a way I'm to put, curious. like, the bingo sink on a delay or something. Yeah, that's what Cola said. Maybe we can look into that for future races. Did Fly Big Brain that one out? Kind of Alright, enjoy getting wing cap. So we'll see what he wants to apply it to. Looks like he is going to go from Mario Wings to the Sky, but he should know he needs to get... Bomb, Bomb King on the summit first. Yep, that's what he's doing. It looks like... Um, Jake has been able to mark that center goal, so everyone's on the board. Let's go! Are we indeed taking out that a Bomb King? Vanish cap stage. What are we going for here? Are we going for lives? I don't know. He doesn't have many lives. It's actually going to be pretty close between Jake Ward and Joey Bagadonis for who gets 15. I mean, we're getting the but reds look, here. Yeah, it looks like he might be going for 10 castle secrets, which is not a bad idea. It's pretty achievable. It is definitely important to find goals that are achievable within the time limit here. Taking a lot of damage on the Spanish cap, though. As long as you don't die in Vanish Cap, you're okay. It's a win. Yeah, I mean, oh, oh my goodness, we're having a little bit of spaghetti uh, fest, though. Needs to take it easy. Playing it safe. This is taking a very safe approach. He's probably not done Vanish Cap very much before. Ooh, going for the pinwheel kick for swag. Gotta respect it. No, that's a death. Oh my god. It's the so swag good. not paying off. Unfortunately, you hate to yeah, see it. Yeah, it with the breakdance. Joy Bag of Donuts, so grabbing that real Mario Wings to the Sky Star. Very epic. Yeah, big word miffs clipping. So it looks like he might be able to get, you know, upstairs with a good bit of time left to get some golds. That'll be exciting. Yeah, what goals are we going to go for upstairs? What are the fast ones? I mean, you can get the red point star and wet dry world would be super long. It's not a super fast star by any means, though. Oh, if you have that and 100 coin, you can double up. I think that's the first thing I would go for. And then if you have vanish cap, go for into the igloo SL. And if not, I would go for three stars from THI and TTL as well. Yeah, I feel like that's a bit of a stretch getting all those goals, but I, th I think definitely the wet dry world stars. Gonna be a goal here, and it looks like Wacker taking another death in Vanish Cap. Do we just bail here at this point? This is a lot of time Joey lost. Have to get 15 lives. This will be, or well, he's already marked it, so he must just be about to get it here on the middle island. Or on this box. No, that's coins. What do I know? Doing a bit of all boxes movement, perhaps, in practice. Perhaps. Wecker taking another hard fall there. Needs to master the art of doing a dive or a kick or something right before hitting the ground. Yeah, let's see if this one is the one. I think he's kind of learned what he needs to do getting on that elevator pretty early. We just need to focus here. I Not think. lose our cool. Not looking like a Siglemic angle. Actually, it could. Not getting the wall kick, unfortunately, but he can still grab the star. 
fun to read some text. Not a huge deal. Oh, Jake, we're looking good with those right side or left side long jumps. Get through fire seat. And he's into the pipe. Looks like he's gonna be getting upstairs with about 10 minutes left. That's pretty good. Pretty healthy. And it's record going for MIPS now. Nice movement. There's the bunny. Comfy backup slide. You know, we're beginning to run out of time though, and uh, Big Word's already heading upstairs, has the fire seat key, so has unlocked that upstairs door. Meanwhile, Wecker gonna have to go through all of DDD, Substar, and Fire Sea. Including the Bowser Bowser fight in order to catch up, which will take quite a bit of time. Forgetting He's going back for the HMC toad, I think. Oh, uh, 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 Mips should still be there. Okay, yeah. <laughs> oh, he didn't take Mips. Okay. Yeah. I would think maybe he didn't get the HMC toad for his castle secrets because I think he's at like seven or so. It's really hard to keep track, but um, that would be a really easy one to get. And you also want to be doing piracy raids. I think you could get 10 around, like, Upstairs Toad which spawns at 25 stars. Or you could go get, like, Metal Cap. Reds. Oh man. Joey taking the weirdest death in Vanish Cap I've ever seen in my life. I think Joey's just trying to unlock the Vanish Cap here. Not going for any red, red coins, but... Mm -hmm. uh, I guess we're yeah, gonna go I for that BBH star. The Igloo? Or the BBH stuff, maybe? Okay, excuse me, I meant into the Igloo. Brain not working very well today. Oh, okay. <laughs> Jake, we're getting completely flipped out of control here, uh, but perhaps part of the plan. We need 100 coins and we're going for reds, hopefully. Jake, we did get Vanish Cap, right? Or did he not? Wait, Jake Word? I don't think so. No, no, no. Jake Word didn't get Vanish Cap. We got it on Weckert. That's right. Weckert died like twice. Jake Ward's gonna get this Wedge Our World 100 coin star. Now, is he also gonna go for red? That's that's my question. I'm surprised if it's not on the mind. Gotta get this backup box here. Oh, big long jump. Important to remember, Joey is in the lead in this match, but. Jake Ward does have a couple point lead from the last one, and looks like we're not going for the red coins. We're gonna go back downstairs now. Interesting. Lecter's making his way through Fire Sea. And he's getting the red coins too, so that'll be adding to his secret star count. He might be able to get up to 10 here before the end of the timer. Oh, not able to get that long jump there, so he's gonna miss the normal cycle. Joey having a really hard time here in HMC, not sure what led to this, but we are slipping the slide and Denny's coming for a little visit, the scuttlebug there. Okay, we are just giving up at this point and gonna take the pit. That's rough. Yeah. Looks like Jake Ward's going for the vanish cap, so probably going for that igloo star. This is interesting, because if if Joey got the Vanish Cap, which I'm guessing he did, I don't know what he's doing. I guess he needs 15. Maybe not the best routing. Um, okay, missing the long jump. Is he gonna get out of here? Okay, yeah. Oh, I can't believe the bat's, like, over by the boulders. You never see that. I, I was... don't know what it's doing. I <laughs> that is pretty weird. What the heck? That is wild. I mean, Weckert on one HP. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, I'm not sure what happened in Fire Sea, but Weckert having a troublesome time up there. Um, looks like we are gonna defeat Bowser, but time is running thin. I'm not sure what we're gonna go for. Probably Igloo Star, as we said before, and it looks like it might be a race against the clock between Jake Word and Weckert to get that Igloo Star. Oh, and... Oh, no! 
That's a hard death. Really rough. Yeah. Is that three deaths to Vanish Cap just in this match right now? I mean... Must be. Not recentering the camera like a true gamer. Taking the terrible lag if you can the game is giving them. Alright, finally a record going upstairs. So I thought um, Jake was going to be going up here earlier, but he decided to go for Vanish Cap, which was not a bad idea, but in hindsight didn't work out too well. You might just exit course. So I'm really confused here as to why neither none of the players here are bothering with four stars in BOB and CCM. I feel like those are decent lobby stars, especially if you're not super comfortable with you know non you know, 70 slash you know, early game yeah, stuff. If you're, if you're grabbing wing cap as well, like for instance, Joy Bag of Donuts, he got Bomb King, he got Mario Wings in the Sky, he got a Bomb Clip. All he needed to do was grab like um, Shoot to the Island in the Sky, like the normal Sky Jump one. And good for in CCM. Would yeah, have been pretty fast. Could have skipped a bunch of those downstairs stars that weren't necessary, anyways, too. Get those 15. But here we are in DDD. I'm not sure if Joey Bagadonis can have much time at all. Looks like we're looking for the Vanish Cap, perhaps. I think we have located it. Vanish Cap acquired. Should be as easy as grabbing the star now. Have connected. So and, you know, you can look at this as you know maybe Jake we're not knowing how to do the star, but you know Joey Bagadonis, sorry, Record has been able to come here and snipe the red coins when Jake Bird was already in with Jar World. So kind of surprising, you know, he could have gotten another goal here. It looks like Record's gonna put a second one on the board. He seems to kind of know where to go. Yeah, getting that pick movement at the end too. Very cool. Seems like Jaker will be attempting 3 and PHI and TTM, which is not really um, guaranteed with this little time left. But it's still possible. I just don't really see it happening. Yeah, I think Looks you like he doesn't see it either. Oh, real J here, going into Ramborite, Sky, TTC. Is there anything up here? Is a Wing Mario over the Rainbow a goal? I think so. TTC 100, I guess. No. Yeah, I don't see. I don't see anything upstairs or in TTC. Yeah, Rainbow Ride is, is all. If you're also, also getting all the in TTC, that would work, but you don't have enough time. Yeah, unless we've got some new strats, perhaps just gonna throw off some movement here at the end of the match. Joey trying to clean up the red coins here in BBH. Definitely a possibility. Has to be a bit quick on his feet though, and is running out of time. We need three more red coins. Yeah. I'm, I'm glad to see the board filling up quite a bit more than the last match though. The last match had me a little bit monk ass, not gonna lie. Um, but you gotta give these runners credit. I mean, not being huge 120 gamers and probably bingo either. Oh my yeah, gosh. It takes to come out here and get bobbed by Monty Mole and almost die. But <laughs> yeah, spooky. Like, you know, it's, it's a tough world out there, and especially lockout bingo is not very beginner friendly. Oh yeah, and I mean, I mean joining like a 16 star tournament or something is, you know, easy enough, but, you know, lockout bingo, free for all, you're playing against people. I mean, we had some players before a couple dropouts happened and we moved them on up. We had some pretty formidable opponents in the qualifiers, though. So, um, definitely props to these players for coming out. I'll be on the lookout for that full list. I don't even know who's all in it. But I'm sure we'll see pretty soon. Yeah, it looks like Joey's just... Uh, realize that defeat is imminent, imminent as far as the timer defeating yeah. his ability to get more stars. 
he might be taking the lead here because he's got seven or six, six goals. So that'll be putting him in the first place going into race number three, which is pretty impressive. By the way, do you mind if I take a short break? You can start the next race without me, but I gotta use the bathroom and feed the dog. Oh yeah, draw that. We are coming to a close on match number two. We will get a final tally here by our trusty scorekeeper, that drunken dwarf, who is also helping organize this tournament, the main driving force behind the creation of this tournament. So shout outs to Dwarf in the chat. If you don't already know Dwarf, you basically should. Definitely go app him a follow. Definitely a Poggers community member. See if I can do basic addition without ruining the scores. That's always my challenge as a restreamer for matches like this. Um, Alright, so 2 plus 5 is 7, guys. Alright, good. We're off to a great start. Uh, Jake pulling up with 17 after the match. And we got... Oh, Dwarf did the math for me. <laughs> dwarf expecting me to not know how to count. Gonna just go ahead and give me the spoon-fed information. You love to see it. I was just blindly accepting that all these points are good. All right, uh, scores are accurate, I promise. I trust Dwarf. Dwarf has great counting abilities and addition. Uh, subtraction, I'm guessing, is also on his resume. Gonna get started on the next one here shortly. But definitely a better showing in match number two. A lot more points being put on the board. Speaking of the players coming out and putting on a show for us, make sure you guys follow the players. Go ahead and link them all in the chat. Also, make sure to uh, check out UAP. UAP is sponsoring a lot of GSA events over the course of the next couple months. We got the World Peace Open, we got uh, the SM64 Lockout Bingo, and we got a couple more tournaments cooking in the kitchen as well, yet to be announced. And UAP is making all of that possible so be sure to check him out you see jason from uap in the chat make sure you give him your thanks definitely doing a lot of good work for the community but we are off here on the last game of the series if we can get everybody synced up here all right don't get to lose my job as restreamer poggers We'll go ahead and reveal that card so you guys can get my in-depth analysis with all my bingo skills, having maybe done a bingo like four years ago. I'm very much aware of what's going on here, I guarantee it. <clears throat> More importantly, we're going to get that timer started. Commentating and restreaming, one of my favorite things in the universe. Take a look. Let's see, we've got Mark 1 TTC. Um, lose Mario's hat, definitely gonna be a favorite one, not too hard to do. Secret Aquarium Star. I'm, I'm trying to find, you know, ones that are gonna be easy for, you know, players of this caliber for sure. Um, ones that you can just go and grab, ones we're gonna go rush real quick. I think we might see some more tippy action in this one. I mean, top four Toad Star is definitely an easy one. 
Got a lot of 100 coin stars on the board. I'm gonna expect somebody to be getting a bunch of 100 coin stars. You got CCM, HMC, uh, and TTC, as well as LLL and SL. That's a lot of 100 coins on the horizon, as well as the 300 coin star block. Oh, it requires 35 stars. I didn't even know that. I just assumed he was always there. Shows you my bingo knowledge. Where are you, Badronas? Save me, please. Looks like Joey Bagadon is going to be summoning the Chomp right onto the pole. Has to wait for him to get baited off of there, unfortunately. But our other two players on their way into Womp's Fortress. The race for Aquarium begins. I mean, it's definitely a strat. All the points matter at this point. Uh, Weckert a little bit behind, gonna have to completely pop off in this match in order to come back, but Shakeward and Joey Bag of Donuts very close, sitting at 11 and 13 points respectively. Um, gonna be vying for the better seating here, uh, unless Weckert can possibly pull an upset, but gonna be going for that slide star. Probably trying to stack up those secret stars. Oh my goodness. Ninja Lifestyle coming in with the very, you know, safe for work 2011 bits, not the 211 bits as are typical for some reason. Wait, did Joey restart? I, I didn't even see that. Terrible commentator. Oh my goodness, trying to dive off the edge of Watch Fortress, but the fence clipping him back in bounds, not allowing it. Blessed be the programmers, saving Joey's life. And it looks like Jake Word is indeed going to be racing towards that aquarium star, but we're going for Hunter Coin here on the side of Joey Bagger Donuts, it seems. Or is there 140? I'm confused. Why are we getting more coins? Is this like a Galaxy Brain No Red strat that I'm not aware of? I'm guessing that's the case. Perhaps showing off some skills here. Meanwhile, we got Weckert heading into CCM. Perhaps going to go for all stars here. Seems like quite a big investment, though, for one tile. I'm not sure if it's going to be worth it. Oh my goodness, and Joey Bag of Donuts trying to go fast here on the 100 coins. Doing some fancy routing, but taking a bop from the Piranha Plant. Bonking his face into the wall. He needs to get this blue coin before it falls off the edge. Doesn't end up falling. Very nice. Manages to keep things together, and Jake Ward the first on the board with the Aquarium Star. Back, sorry for the. Oh right there. no! The death! I totally forgot there was a CCM 100 coin on the table. 100 coin stars being at a premium in this matchup. The sale on 100 coin stars. Well, there are so many, like, 100 coins or all stars in stages. Yeah, there's a ton of 100 coins, and we got the 3 coin, or the 300 coin star uh, tile as yeah. well at the bottom. Not a whole lot of gimmies besides the secret aquarium, unfortunately. Uh, oh, we do have 240 coins. Excuse me lost over that one. Bit too much reading for me. This is the yep. most reading I've done since high school. Yeah, that's definitely some solid synergy. So what, what other stages can we collect 140 in? Well, you've got bombs, CCM, uh, I guess Wet Dry World, THI. Where is Wecker trying to go? I have no idea. <laughs> trying, to, trying to discover some new movement on the fly, perhaps, but there's, in fact, nothing there, unfortunately. You cannot dive on that slope, you just have to kick up it. Yep. 
Any I guess ices? you can blue coin switch and get up to 85 and maybe finish off the 100. Yeah, Jake would already having a hundred though. Okay. Locking out that star. If you start. go to the wall piece for work area, I think there's there's the spin drifts and then there's the arrow with like eight coins. That would be enough. I don't know if he knows about it. Maybe he does. Yeah, you gotta wonder if Weckert is sweating right here on the 140 coin goal because uh, Jake Ward already has collected that 100 coin. Could be suspecting that Jake Ward is also going for the 140, but in fact isn't. Okay. Oh my gosh, Joey missing the row of coins, and I think Joey is for sure going for 140 here, but I think that just 100% means that Wecker's gonna get it first, unless Wecker just gives up. I mean, it doesn't look like he's going for 140, though. I don't know what the, the plan was, but he got 100. <laughs> Definitely an interesting 100 coin route, grabbing the wall cakes for work star at the end of it. It's almost like the non-stop route. Speaking of non-stop, I saw D was running non-stop earlier, that's pretty hype. Yeah. I haven't seen non anybody really seriously running non-stop in a while, especially strange considering that there's a bounty out for it right now. Enjoy getting some spin drift coins. The nice thing about CCM is that there's pretty much coins everywhere you look. You can trip over and get a hundred. Yeah, Joey though, having a hard time finding those coins. Did miss a bunch on the slide, so could potentially go back for those, but it's a long ride. Yeah. It's good news for Joey though, if he ends up not going for the 140 here is that uh, even though the 100 CCM is already claimed, he can still go for that 300 coins. Has the Womp Sport under his belt as well. Yeah. Ooh, Jake Horn getting a little bit tripped up here at the beginning of Dark World. Alright, he'll make it through. Surviving is pretty much the most important thing in stages like this where, you know, if you miss some time some movement or boost some cycles it's really not a big deal but when you die especially toward the end it gets to be a pretty big deal so you want to see jake bird hold it down Oh my god, that ground pound spooked me. And the Goomba boss, almost taken out Jake for at the end of Dark World here, but man, just holds together. And uh, Joey is indeed going for that 140. Oh my god, oh my god. He could have <laughs> fallen off there too. Okay. Yeah, the time is ticking as, as in terms of getting into the, the upstairs area. I mean, it does not instantly, you know, the stars don't instantly come for you to getting that 15. And we're only sitting at 9 on the highest star count, though. 20 minutes left. I'm just ticking. Uh, Joey just died. I don't know what happened, but he's at 120 coins and he just took uh, it down. I think he was going for 140. That's really going to put him back, and I don't think it's going to go in again. Yeah, so, definitely giving up there. And Beckard has died in Dark World. Oh Jake my Bird is God. really seeming to be the only one to keep in the pace here. He's down in basement, and he might just be able to get some uncontested lethal off lane goals. He's got both 100 coin and the all stars that he can go for. Yeah, potentially that would bring him up to enough to go grab the MIPS as well. Mm -hmm. Only He's the only player on the board right now. He's got two points, which ties him up with Joey uh, in the long term. And 
That is the ultimate goal, is to take first place in this qualifier match. Would it be Jake Ward and Joey going, going forward, or only one of them? I thought it was both. Yeah, it's both. But it, it does affect seeding a little bit. Not that seeding is super, you know, perfect mm -hmm. anyways. It's kind of hard to seed a tournament like this where, you know, it's bingo slash some players don't yeah. have PBs and categories. and <clears throat> Unless you're running like a big tournament like the OT community is doing where you have like preliminary, you know, bingo periods where you submit your bingo PBs and stuff like that. Yeah, that's really the, the only way you can seed bingo. But even then, it's like, the, the goals are so random, oh. it's like, you can just get lucky. So I'm surprised Jake Ward's going for... I mean, I guess he's done it last time, so he, he feels like he could be successful at Shellless 100 coin again. It's not the, the comfiest route, though, so he's not going for all stars, he's only going for the 100 coin. Which, considering that if you did all the stars, you'd be able to do this with the shell, I think it's maybe not as efficient, but you'll at least get the gold, and there's no one else to really contest it, so that'll be three in a row for Jake Ward as soon as he gets in here. Alright. Well, how Joey's going for a JRV 100 without the ship, which means you need all the coins except for the, the two reds on the ship, because there's only 104 in the stage. Is a hundred coin star in Jerry V a goal? There's all stars, but that doesn't really seem to be what he's going for. Could be going for three hundred coin stars, but I mean, weird selection considering Monthly. there's pretty much every other hundred coin star on the board. Yeah. Although they are some pretty scary hundred coins, SL hundred coin. All right. Not the scariest, but pretty high up in the castle. ETC 100 coin, pretty scary. Yeah. Ooh, Joey's gotta get these blues. Okay, he's good. Oh, I can't believe the pillar still hit him. He got robbed. <laughs> the Sum 64 hitbox is not known for being the, the greatest in the world. You know, the thing is, there's also four stars from JRB and DDD, which could be a viable op option if you wanted. Becker just died on somewhere in SSL. Yeah, I feel like, especially for players that don't do 120 star, DDD and JRB are probably not the stages you're looking at going to. Probably not. Now, well, Record is kind of in trouble here. Did he try to get his hat stolen? I, think that's I guess so. Alright, Weckert, gonna get on the board with the hat steal. I'd love to see it. I'm not really sure how the hat stealing works. Oh, oh there we there go. go. I mean, we saw Joey, I think it was, go for it in the last, or like one of the last matches, and literally just talk to the bob -omb and this. Bird stole his hat while <laughs> he was talking to the bob -omb. so apparently that's the strat. Oh, not enough for BBH. I have to get three more somewhere. If you wanted to go back to basement, you could have just died. But, I would say 2020. Yeah, Jake going for that live life there, but I mean, sitting at 10 right now. Ooh, and a death. That's brutal. So are we going Are we going for all Lava Land stars right now? Or are we just trying to get fast stars? I don't know. I don't know. It's kind of tough. Like, if you saw Jake Red market, I would, I would be kind of dissuaded from attempting all stars. Because one, you're missing out no! on the... Wow, oh, I can't believe we the bottom No, why did you go back? No, what happened? <laughs> I mean, you'll respawn in the volcano if you just want to do the elevator. So if that's if he is going for all lethal love land stars, I guess that's okay. But still, it seems like not the ideal oh my approach. Goodness. This Ooh. elevator just giving Jake too much issue. Can't handle it. It's angle, I don't like it. We have connected with the pole though. 
but yeah. I, I'm gonna have to say, if he goes for all Lava Land stars after doing shellless hundred coin, that's gonna hurt my brain a little bit. Yeah, that would be not the best routing. Now HMC 100, if that's what he's going for, I don't see that on the board. Oh, it is there. Bottom left-ish. Pretty bold for Weckert, if I had to say this is one of the harder 100 coins to get. Seems like he knows his way around. Joey's looked very sketchy in Dark World. Every time he's done it. Looks like he's gonna make it. We do have a sizable amount of time, I mean, there is enough time for Jake to get upstairs and then also uh, collect some stars, so... We're not too late on the clock for that whatsoever. Joey, trying to throw Bowser off the edge here, but... They do need to get hit by the eyeball. No, Joey! <laughs> Joey! Oh, wow, he actually gets to snipe it. Good on Wecker. Coin fell. He saw the shadow. He saw the coin. Go get it. Okay. okay. Frankie Bag of Chips, the rules are lockout bingo. There are three 30 minute segments. Whoever gets the most uh, squares wins, essentially. Indeed. This is so dangerous. I think you take damage faster on the Toxic Maze, too, without the hat. You better know where you're going. Maybe you don't. Yeah, it seems like the same amount of damage. He's skipping a lot of these coins. Oh, doesn't know where the blue coin spawn! Doesn't know where the blue coin spawn! No! Wecker, you're going the wrong way! Uh, I don't well, think... Uh, I'm gonna have to just find another star like the Toxic Maze one. Like navigating the Toxic Maze. That's harsh. Yeah? This isn't the door you want to go in. I mean, this is like the intended amazing emergency exit route, actually. Alright. Jake Ward looks like he's pretty comfortable with Fire C. Maybe he's done like a lot of 16 star for Fire C, no reds. Yeah, Wecker losing his hat was definitely on purpose. It is literally an objective on the card. I'm not sure what Joey's plan is right now. It looks like he's getting pillars, but... For uh... what purpose? I'm not sure. Um, did he get all of them? No talents? I'm not sure what's going on inside decided Joey Bag of Donuts right now, but we're just gonna get some pillars and collect Talent Star perhaps saw a ghost tile that told them to go inside the pyramid, but not the case. Alright, 10 minutes left for the first lockout bingo qualifier. It looks like Joey Bagadonas and Jake are gonna make it through, but first place is still undecided. It all comes down to this, if Jake Gord gets one more square than Joey, then he will take the win, considering he'll have two first place finishes. So all he pretty much needs is to have one more square than Joey at the end of the round, which means, like, Joey needs to tie him, essentially. Oh man, Jake we're going for the Theros strat getting into Rainbow, right? <laughs> Unable to get the uh, wall kick there. If you're having trouble wall kicking and you're in a corner, it is because you're in a corner. Get out of the corner and you will wall kick just fine. Unfortunately, yep. taking a tumble there. Unable to do the triple jump wall kick at the start of Rainbow Ride. I wonder if we're going to be going for Lakitu Bounce or if we're going to be going for the uh, more noob cruiser strat. Looks like Joey having a hard time flipping through underneath the elevator, which is painful to see. Looks like we're going for Lakitu Bounce. Oh, not able to connect with the wall kick. Very precise trick. Oh, 
going straight for that backup movement. say a lot of these objectives seem like they've been pretty difficult. Um, outside of like these individual 100 coin stars, there's a lot of really long and or difficult objectives going on. Yeah, whenever you have like all stars in a stage, you know that's going to take like a good five or so minutes. And when you only have 30 to use, it's like you only get room for a couple of those in your whole run. So when you're looking at stuff like this, it's like, can I really just go for all stars in CCM alone? It's like, not unless it's paired with something, you know? Even with the, even if 100 coin is part of it, it's like... You're still only getting like one goal for, for every few minutes, so... If you can get that uncontested, then sure, that's kind of a gimme, but... In general, it's not really looking like a card that you can really run up your total on in a short amount of time. How are you feeling about this 100 coin route right now from Jake Word? I... Really don't know what to think about it. I mean, this is where you go hit the blue switch. He seems to recognize it pretty I, well. I honestly but... love it. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm super enjoying watching, uh, you know, players that are maybe less experienced. Oh with no, the he's game. gonna miss the blues. It's over. Oh no, that is definitely. Oh my gosh, he a couple of them, but not that's not enough. I think you just he bail means, at like... this point. Yeah, you're gonna have to try again. Uh. -oh. Fireman slide. <laughs> um, is he dying? Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, we're dying, we're dying. Okay. Alright, good. But as I was saying, seeing, like, I, I love watching, like, players who either, like, don't run the game at all, or just, like, have done 16 slash 70 star, like, doing YOLO 120 res no resets. It's like, it gives me life, it makes me feel better about myself. Yeah. Makes me remember, you know, hey, I was like that once. Oh my goodness, Weckert, taking a death in Fire Sea. To be fair, I am still quite like that at 120 star. I think my PB is barely sub three hours. <laughs> I, it's understandable. It's like, even if, when you think you're good at 70, it's like the first couple 120 runs just make you feel like a baby crawling around. Yeah, absolutely. Especially if you don't like put a bunch of work in on the practice beforehand. It's like. Yeah, I mean, I really respect people who can just gr go for a 120 attempt, just grind it for like six hours and finish it. It's like you weren't completely blind and you just held out anyway. That's pretty impressive. Some people do that. But not yeah. everyone can. I mean, speedrunning is, you know, you, you see a lot of people grinding for world record, but like, there's there's a certain charm to seeing players just go in and see what they can do blind, like. I almost think yeah. timing, like, no resets of your first playthroughs of games can be entertaining, at least for me. <laughs> yeah, it's really just whatever kind of obstacle you set for yourself and trying to overcome it. That's all you gotta do. And if you have fun doing that, then no power to you. Yeah, we got five minutes left in this last match, and Jake Word looking in full control. I'm not sure what Joey Bagadonis is going to plan to do here. Maybe just play it out and... Uh, you know, be content with second place at this point, but Jake, we're just kind of dominating this last match. Yeah, this is definitely the, the best bingo we've seen so far, so he's really earning that first place finish. Now he's got four more minutes, which means he could try to get, like, Pop floor cloud stage maybe, or I don't know, just go for another hundred coin. SL, <laughs> that would be kind of hard, but maybe he's going for vanish cap. No. And then into the igloo. I could see that. We have seen players get completely destroyed by vanish cap so far in we this have. series, though. And I mean completely crushed. <laughs> It's been a bit of a hard stage to watch, for sure, but... 
I think Jake's going to give it another shot. I was it Jake that died twice in this stage? I think it was. Oh, and Joey falling all the way off a of fire seat. I don't see any possible path of recovery for Joey at this point. All the squares are just too much. Falling off a of fire seat. Can you even go for, to the roof for lives? I don't think that they give you Yoshi will give you lives. Yoshi's not, no, even not there. until you have 120. I, I think there might be a one upper two there anyway. Like there might be like three around the pillar. Yeah, that would definitely be like a free square if that was the case. You just go for the Yoshi at the top of the castle and then yeah. just ground pound into. Oh yeah. I mean, Reach the Castle Roof is a goal that sometimes appears. It didn't on, on any of these boards, though. Yeah, I mean, that couldn't be- that wouldn't be the worst start ever. I mean, go- we go to the top of the castle, get a couple stars, get a couple lives, and then jump down. Yeah. Alright, and it looks like Jake Ward's going to be able to get the switch here, which is very nice. Very happy not to see a death there, and has enough time to get this igloo star. It's a pretty quick star. Well, it's not too far away. Looks like Weckert's summoning the water levels. I'm gonna have to swim to the star here. Going for some wet dry world stars. But is there I mean, enough he, time? If he, if he did like a 140 in Walms, he could go wet dry world 140, but not, you're not gonna be getting it. Looks like it might just be the one spare for him and Joey. Alright. Okay, we're about to get into the igloo here. And you can see he's marked it off, but that'll be six on the board. I think if he stays 6 plus 3, that'll put him up to 20 points. Yeah, kind of a dominant performance here from Jake Ward in this last match. I think Jake probably just going to showboat a little bit here at the end. The other yeah, runners scramble for points. Probably too little too late. Unless we see some insane strategies come out. Never before seen. I'm gonna do some wall kicks. Speed kicks in the moat? Nope, banished him. Alright. Wait. Is there a 100 point in the BBH? Oh, Joey's just about marked it. He's gonna grab the second one in the nick of time. Right at the end here. Let's go. I... Wait. When did he did he just now mark that? Did he get the reds? Yeah, he got reds. Why would he mark the hundred coin star now? Unless he did it a while ago. No, he he marked the hundred coin star a while ago. He just got the BBA to those ones. Unless I'm confused. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good call. Alright, well that's gonna be it. They yeah. were taking the dub. First seed. Joey, second seed, gonna qualify. And unfortunately, Weckert not gonna be continuing in the tournament. But thank you all for giving us a good match. So what do you think, Saren? Uh, I think we saw a dominant performance from uh, Jake Ward. Gotta say. I mean, yeah. both, uh, both first rounds are a bit of a confusion mess, but... Jake Ward really pulling it together and just kind of showboating, honestly, in the last match. Yeah, he really went to town there. Six goals is pretty good. Looks like the final tally is in. Joey, Joey does not have 131 points. In fact, has 17. Uh, Jake Ward with the 20 and Weckert with 7. I gotta say, I like this format. I'm looking forward to some later matches. We've got some 
good players in the tournament. I guess I'll name off a few of them now since you were curious. I don't have them all added to the challenge yet, but we do have some big names. We got Aleph, we got Deku Dude, Benji, Zine. We have you, Badronis, in the tournament. Uh, obviously going to get first place. We got Jesus, Grimes, Phaser Laser, Hollow Pinecone, Bombs, Nicholas. Got a lot of names in here. Uh, quite a few more as well. We'll get that challenge updated at the end of the weekend so that everybody can see all the names and the matchups and all that good stuff as we work on the scheduling for next week. I think we can see if we get some interviews going. We get some gamers talking. Get them in here. Looks like we got interest. curious to ask about some experience levels. I know I've read a little bit about the players on the sign-up sheet, but so many players, it's hard to keep track. Okay. <laughs> I don't think I gave them permission to join the waiting room. <laughs> Alright, hopefully they can see it now. There we go, we got Joey in. Welcome Hello, in, Joey. Joey. Hello. Well, Joey. you made second, so you did qualify, but how do you think that went overall? Uh, it wasn't too bad overall, I'd say. I mean, round three was just a... I don't even know what to call it. I mean, as soon as I saw the card, I knew it was going to be trouble, but I didn't think it would resolve into this mess. <laughs> But I'm, I'm happy with um, how game two went, at least, or round two, I should say, whatever you want to call it. Uh, yeah, I would have liked to take the win, but I mean, I'll take qualifying, just getting bopped round in the three, bracket, just, so that's uh, fine. I don't even know what to call it. I mean, as soon as I saw the card, I knew it was going to be trouble. What's up, Jake Word in the call? Hello. What's up? Good to be here. But I'm, I'm happy with um, Good to have you. Congrats on the win as well. So Thanks. Yeah, what do you think about that? I think, you know, this could go for any of you. Um, Race one seemed to be like they're very like nervous kind of, but race two and three, I think, you know, Joy had a good race two. You had a good race two and three, I would say. Did it kind of did your mindset kind of change from race one to race two? Yeah. So for me, I've I've done some bingo, but I've never done like a lockout type bingo. So I think that first race and even somehow in in the second race, I was trying to like figure out the format. And I think like by the third race, like my routing got a lot better to where I, I got a ton of cards um, right there at the end. So yeah, got upstairs pretty quickly and was able to knock out some of the just single star upstairs uh, tasks, which was cool. So for me, I just think it was trying to get used to this format, which I haven't really done before. Cool. Well, yeah, it makes sense. I think <laughs> it's, it's a bit different because I think um, one that you might not have known if you weren't watching was like, in race two, both, I mean, you pretty much all rushed the Peach's Secret slide, and I think Joy, like, beat you by, like, maybe, like, half a second on getting I know, and if, if my castle really? movement would have been been, yeah. been better, because I, I bonked a few times, like, on the way to the slide, I, I was pretty mad at myself for that, but... Yeah, I did too, and I also missed one of the slide skips too, so that was just really... Dang, Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, like, if, at first it was like, oh, Joey's going to get this one by a good bit, and then he missed the, the little bump where you turn around, and then I thought you were going to get it, and then you, you barely, you know, missed it at the very end there. Yeah, unfortunate, but... <laughs> I'll rewatch that one, that sounds interesting. Yeah, me too. <laughs> We've also got Wecker in the call. Hello. Hello. Hey. So, unfortunately, you won't be moving on in the tournament, but how did you think the event was overall? The event overall was really fun, and I think you should do it another time in the future. So, cool. I'm not. I'm kind of new to Super Mario 64, so yeah. All good. It's good to have new people come out for these events because that's how we get to like see your name and stuff and get to know people. So good to have you, Saren. Do you have anything for any of the runners? Yeah, no, I just basically want to thank everybody for joining the tournament, especially, you know, 
the ones that are newer to the game. Definitely a bit nerve-wracking to go out in front of a bunch of people that you might not know and, you know, you might not be as confident in the game, but, you know, giving it your all, trying to have fun with it, very important. And I think it was a pretty close match overall. I mean, I don't think anybody was insanely, you know, overpowered in this matchup. So it was definitely fun mm -hmm. to watch. Cool. Well, that's all, right. all I have for me. All right. Well, I am going to wrap things up then for today. We got a bunch of matches coming up this weekend. If you want, you can check out the schedule. I will drop it in the chat. But for now, we're going to go raid Nicholas, who's also in this tournament. An absolute god gamer. A little bit too unknown for my liking. Um, you might not have heard of him, but he's going for a 48 and 70 star. So he's definitely a qualified contender in this tournament. Uh, definitely go check him out. Up in the follow if you're so inclined, and we will be back tomorrow with a bunch of SML. Uh, and on Sunday we've got not only SML, we've also got some Jack and Daxter, and we got some more of the SM SM64 Bingo tournament. So definitely check the schedule. Be here, and we will see you then. Later, Wait. gamers. Sounds good. Have a good one, boys. See ya. You too. Bye. Bye.